Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is at work, and today we are checking out the Ferrum Forge Prolix. Now, I do really like this knife, but it did show up with a horrible edge. I did not like the edge. It wasn't sharp at all, in my opinion. I mean, it would cut through paper, but I could literally rub my fingers back and forth on it. The bevel was very shallow. I think the bevel was like 25, 30 degrees. Yeah, I think it was closer to 30 degrees which is not very good now the the behind the edge thickness on this is 15 thousandths and the blade stock thickness is 120 thousand so you know at 30 degrees that just wasn't acceptable i did not like that and it just wasn't sharp it really wasn't sharp so i knew i was going to reprofile it but i did take it to work and i took it to work put it through the gauntlet so to speak you know, tested it out. Um, I had straps that I was at, that I have to cut at work. These were light duty straps. They weren't really heavy duty, and I did cut a few of them, but it really didn't cut that good because of the edge, which I knew it probably wasn't gonna. I wound up cutting most of them with another knife, but I did try it out on there. Cut up some plastic, and then um, I had to break down a bunch of cardboard. I had a whole bunch of recycling I had to cut up. Now I did cut very well through the cardboard the cardboard cut really good it goes right through cardboard very nice it does have pretty decent geometry so you know, sliding through cardboard is very nice and you know it is a smaller knife so for how small it is and compact it is i was pretty impressed with it but once i got it home i knew i was going to reprofile it now, I fig found the edge angle that I wanted. And after getting the edge angle I wanted, I started uh, sharpening one side of it. Got, got you know, the bevel all reprofiled to the, the angle I wanted. And you can see that, it, you know, compared to what it was, I think I laid it back to about 18 degrees, basically. But compared to what it was, you can see a huge difference in the edge bevel I put on there versus what was on there. I mean, it didn't look good, and it just wasn't sharp. So then I started finishing sharpening it. Started out on 280 grit to reprofile it. Moved on to a 600 grit diamond stone. I started out with a diamond stone, too, but uh, finished it off on a 600 grit diamond only two plates got it all sharpened up took a really nice edge nitro v sharpens up very nicely i compared a lot to 14c28n and it just took a really sharp edge i stropped it on just regular white compound i love that white compound you know this is nitro v so it strops really good it deferred really good and yeah, I was pretty impressed with how it sharpened up. It took a ridiculously sharp edge. And then, you know, you can see cutting paper with this edge is way better than what it was. I know before I said it, it would cut paper, but now it really cuts paper. I mean, now it'll cut through paper towels. You know, I didn't try whittling a hair, but you know, I'm pretty good at feeling an edge, knowing if it'll whittle a hair, and I am pretty positive it will. But yeah, very sharp. So I'm very happy with the edge now, but I wasn't from the start. And, you know, I really wanted to try this out because I was really impressed with the mini arch bishop. And these things, are, these two are very, very similar. Now, this, is, this one, the Prolix is six and a half inches with a 2.8 inch blade. It is a little bit bigger than the mini archbishop, so that's another reason. Because even though the mini archbishop is small, you can get a full hand on it if you take advantage of the toil, which is the only way I could really hold this knife. Otherwise, it's a three finger knife. And the Prolix is pretty much a three finger knife as well if I'm holding it the way I'm supposed to. Maybe, you know, because I can't get a grip on that. But if I really go all the way up here and crush my finger up there, I can get four fingers on there. But I basically hold it with the choil. The jimping is done very, very, very well. I love this jimping. It's super sharp, super grippy. All the jimping around this whole knife is just done the way jimping should be done even on the flipper tab 
perfect jimping. Now the flipper tab on the mini archbishop, it's very similar except for it's just bigger and better on the Prolix. And I really like this action. I mean, this action, the detent is so nice, super clicky. It's very centered. Same thing with the mini archbishop. You can see how strong that, that detent is in a good way though. And then you can reverse flick it very nicely. The reverse flick works great. It has an amazing sound to it. But the push button works so good. And since the flipper tab is so grippy, you can literally just put your finger on it and just like switch it. I mean, literally like almost like a flick. And it works great because the jimping is so sharp and so grippy. It just works so good. You can do the traditional light switch. Or like I said, the push button works great too. Reverse flick is so nice. Now you can thumb flick it. It's not as easy as the reverse flick, but you can do it. Now I know the sounds of this thing are not going to come across the camera as good as, or the microphone as good as it is in real life. But this thing has an incredible sound to it. Even on the opening, Sometimes it has like a chink sound, but anyways, action's great. Um, like I said, the ergos are really good. Now, when I was cutting with it, I mostly pinch it and do cutting like that. Now, when I was breaking down the cardboard, I put my finger in the choil and let the cardboard basically ride against my hand so that it didn't fall into the choil. Because that is one thing when you're cutting up cardboard or cutting up anything and you have a choil like this, it can slip into the choil. So I blocked it with my finger, cut just fine. Um, like I said, the straps didn't cut the best, but you know I know they would now. Um, the lock bar on this thing is a little tight in there, but it's not bad. Not as bad as the mini archbishop was, um, but very, very similar. So if you know that knife or the Ferrum Forge Stinger, all three of them, these knives are very, very similar. I don't have the Stinger here, but I did review it. It's a bigger um, knife or a larger knife compared to these guys. But the access to the lock bar could be a little bit better, but you still can get to it. And they did give you a little bit of a relief cut. The lock face geometry is really nice. It's rock solid. It's running on ceramic bearings. So very, very smooth. I just love how clicky that detent is. The utility cuts are really good on it because you kind of, you have this good grip on it where you can get your finger on there and get lots of leverage in that tip. I mean, the tip works really good on this thing and you can really get some good utility cuts. Um, so, you know, in this little pinch grip like this, it just works so good, like almost like a little razor, but, you know, still a little pocket knife that you can slice with. So I do like the way it cuts, especially for such a little compact knife. You know, it works. It works really good. I use this knife most of the day. Now, some of the day I did use another knife for a couple other little things, but I have a feeling that if my edge would have been on there, I wouldn't have done that. I would have just used this knife. And it's not like I was doing crazy stuff today. It was kind of a light day, but, you know, either way, it worked out, it worked out great. Now the clip works so good. It, you know, same clip that's on the other knives from Ferrum Forge done by Wii. Um, it's inset. It's not reversible, but it's inset into the G10 and then has a flat screw. Perfect. They did this so perfect and it works so good. It goes in and out of the pocket very nicely. You have plenty of room. This is a amazing clip especially for a budget knife, for any knife, but especially for a budget knife. Love it. Um, now, there, there's not very much I dislike or that I'm, you know, I would consider bad. Now, like I said, the access to the lock bar could be better. Um, I, you know, the edge was not sharp. Um, T6s, but these T6s are done very well, but I don't care. I don't care. I don't care that it's a small knife. I don't care about any of that. I don't know why we're still using these T6s. Everybody knows that it's easy for them to strip out. Um, now, this knife does come in three different colors. The green, well, for the G10. It also comes in the carbon fiber, but if you don't, 
you know, you better get it quick because they're only going to do one run of the carbon fiber ones. Now, here's the other bad thing. This thing was $90. Now, if you want the carbon fiber version, it is $110. That's a little overpriced to me. Um, I do like Nitro V, but it's just, you know, it's kind of basic for that kind of kind of money. What are we talking about? I mean, it's your Nitro V. I understand that, you know, but why this thing was $90 for the, the carbon fiber version. I don't know why they didn't just do the same thing. $90 for the carbon fiber and then like $70 for the G10. That would have been, I think that would have been a reasonable price. Now, I'm not saying it's crazy overpriced or anything because I like the knife and I think it is done very well. It is a great example of how a knife should be done, um, but the price is a little bit steep. I think it would have been a lot better at 70 bucks. But, you know, regardless, still a good knife, and um, I know, you know, it's going to last. Um, I know it's going to hold up, you know, and it cuts pretty well. Now, this blade is a Warncliffe blade, but it does have a subtle belly on it so when you're sharpening it you don't want to just drag it straight across the stone you do want to lift up just a little bit because it does have a subtle belly on it a couple quick size comparisons this is the giant mouse ace biblio and if you guys don't know we just won one of these that we are going to be giving to the patrons we uh won a burgundy uh micarta uh giant mouse ace biblio that's supposed to be in really good condition the action is great everything is great on it so can't wait till that gets here but as of right now this month we're giving away this knife Ooh, the whole Ritter rs kmk1 so if you guys aren't patron members by now you guys could be you know having chances to win badass knives anyways uh, a perfect size comparison is the civivi elementum qsp penguin also, I want to thank the patrons, the ones that are supporting us, you know, or even if you're just in it for the raffle, or not raffles, in it for the giveaways every month. Thank you guys. You guys have no idea how much your support helps. It really, really helps us. Um, and then one more size comparison, the Civivi Elementum. A little close, but the Civivi, the Civivi Elementum is just a little bit bigger. Um, okay, C CJRB Mini Feldspar. There you go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Amazing knife. Great knife. I really do like this knife a lot. Um, but, you know, it is a little bit overpriced in my opinion, but it's not that bad. It's not that big of a deal. But I would have just liked to have seen it at the same price as this one. Eh. Love you guys. Peace.